Hello everyone. I just finished uh, part of my bi-monthly battle with my hair. I just finished applying relaxer to my hair. And I'm sitting here smoothing. Sorry, I have a clip tangled in the back of my hair back here. Um, yes, I'm smoothing my hair right now. And while I was applying my relaxer, I was having such a hard time because my hair, you know, was so thick and it was so hard to get through and I'm tender headed. And I thought to myself, who can I talk to about this? Like, I don't have any friends that are relaxed and on a healthy hair journey. I have some natural friends, and of course I have plenty of friends that are not on a hair journey at all. But I was like, I don't have any relaxed friends that are on a hair journey. So, that's why I'm reaching out to you, YouTube audience. I said, you know what, I'm going to make myself a hair channel. Because I need to be able to share, you know, my struggles and my triumphs. And my fails with someone because I know there are other people out there who are on hair journeys and you know do their YouTube thing and so yeah that's why I decided that this channel is going to be a hair channel so that I can share and get support from you guys and take advantage of the YouTube community so I am not not <laughs> A professional stylist by any means necessary. By any means necessary. By any means. <laughs> I am just a lady at home, sitting in my living room, smoothing my relaxer, who decided that she was going to create a hair channel. I have a few videos already of my hair journey because, you know, I was just kind of documenting for my own, you know reference to look back and see where I've come from and what kind of progress I'm making and everything. And I had gotten involved with, you know, another channel, have another channel that I, you know, just talk on and stuff. But I decided to make this a hair channel to share my my struggles and my success with my hair journey and to gain support from you guys and encouragement so yeah that's what I'll be doing on this channel you guys that's smoothing pretty well actually that's good my texture the texture of my hair is very very uh, thick you guys I'm definitely a four for sure. I guess I'm a 4A so I don't have the you know zigzag Z pattern of a 4B. I do have a very tight coil to my hair and you guys will see more of that as you see pictures and videos of me of my hair on my hair journey. Hey you guys so you know I'm relaxing my hair today as you saw in the previous video. And I just finished rinsing the relaxer out. I'm definitely one of those people who believes in getting a good rinse. So I was rinsing for quite a minute. Now I use the Dark and Lovely Super. See, super, super. Um, my hair is very thick. Um, the texture of my hair is very tight and it would be what they call <laughs> on their instructions resistant <laughs> my hair would be considered resistant and I just finished rinsing the relaxer out now they include this uh, silk keratin serum I don't use that um, I prefer the Aflogy two-minute reconstructor so that's what I'm going to be putting in my hair and you know this is one of the precautions that you take when you relax your hair 
one that um, I have not always taken, but have been taking since I started my hair journey. And um, I put quite a bit, but this is, you know, to kind of um, restore your hair from that, you know, chemical <laughs> breakdown that you just caused by using a relaxer. So this kind of like, you know, strengthens the protein bond that you were just breaking <laughs> using your relaxer. Um, when Dark and Lovely first started putting this serum in there, I was already, uh, using the G, but I said, oh, let me just give it a try and see, you know, see how theirs works. And so the very first time that I bought a relaxer and it had that in it, I said, okay, I'll try it. And so I tried it and I didn't like it. So I immediately went back to the G to the reconstructor. And so, yeah, I've got that in there pretty good. Yeah, so just briefly, since I only have a couple minutes to talk to you guys, um, I didn't used to take these precautions. Like now, before I applied my relaxer today, um, I put conditioner on my hair first, you know, on the, the unrelaxed portion to, you know, prevent any damage to it, to minimize any damage that could occur from, you know, accidentally getting relaxed on it. And, you know, these are just uh, tricks and tips that I've learned along the way, you know, having relaxed hair. And, and, you know, I never used to take these precautions. I was one of those people who would like relax my full length of hair every time. So you can imagine how thin and damaged my hair was, right? But um, now that I've learned a few tricks, my hair has definitely uh, grown and um, it's much healthier. And yeah, you guys will see that as I start uploading more videos and pictures of how my hair looked previously. But came out pretty good, I think. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and rinse this out, you guys. And, you know, not everyone uh, does this step before um, neutralizing, but I have found that it has worked very well for me. So that's why I do it and I plan to continue doing it because it definitely um, cuts back on the damage that relaxer does to your hair. So I will see you guys shortly. Hey you guys. Back again so soon, I just finished rinsing that out, and I know for sure everyone does not do this step, but I'm following up with the Afro G Balancing Moisturizer, and I know some of you guys out there are like, are you crazy? Start neutralizing already. <laughs> and trust me, I can relate, I feel the same way, but it says on the instructions to, you know, follow up after any Afro G treatment, so... Hey, I'm doing it. I want my hair to be moisturized and soft and balanced. <laughs> so, just gonna apply this really, really quickly, as you see. So that I can go ahead and start neutralizing. I know some of you guys are like, hurry up! <laughs> Trust me, I feel the urgency <laughs> myself. But, you know. Just following directions, okay? Chill out. Bye. Hey, you guys. I'm back. Um, I just finished neutralizing um, five times. And in my very first wash, I didn't have any pink. So, you know, it wasn't as dangerous as you guys think it is for me to apply, you know, the Afro-G treatment and the balancing moisturizer because I had done a really good rinse of the relaxer and, you know, which is 
Something that I also did not used to do. Rinse really, really well. Like, I would rinse and maybe wash one time. Neutralize one time. <laughs> My poor hair. It has been used and abused. But yeah, um, so I just finished neutralizing and uh, I applied some of this uh, healthy gloss moisture conditioner with satin oil. Step five. And I gotta say, this is not my favorite step, but it should be because I definitely feel the difference in my hair from applying this stuff, but it's just so milky. Can you guys see that? I'm trying to do it without spilling it. It's just so milky. And it just, I don't know, it bugs me with its milkiness. But yeah, it really does make my hair softer. You know, I can feel that it's softer from putting the conditioner in there. So I guess I won't complain, but I just don't like having all this oily, greasy stuff all over my hands. Truthfully, I don't like relaxing at all. I really don't. But I do it because that's what helps me to, you know, manage my hair. And I'll probably, you know, do a video of that also. Why I haven't gone natural. Why I choose not to go natural. Why I choose to stay relaxed. But, um, yeah, you guys. So, coming to the end of my whole relaxing process. And out pretty well I think you know you see my edges laying down my little V at the front um yeah I will have to you know rinse this out in a few minutes in a couple minutes actually so to leave it in for five minutes and then I have step six this Moisture hair cream. Now, I don't like this stuff at all. <laughs> Not at all. Because you're supposed to, like, leave it in. And it's kind of like the same consistency, the same texture as this stuff. And, um, I just don't like it. I just don't like it. I don't like how my hair feels when I do it. So, I don't know. We'll see about that step. But anyway... I'm going to go ahead and go rinse, and I guess start detangling. I don't know if I'll put this in or not. I'll let you guys know whether or not I put this in. Alright, bye. Okay, I lied. This stuff is definitely not the same consistency of the, as the other stuff. It's much thicker. But what I don't like about it is that it seems oily like you can see that there's like an oily it's like a I just don't like the oiliness of it but I'm going ahead and putting it on my hair anyway because I decided that I'm going to blow dry my hair today which will be the first time in at least four months I think it might be closer to six months that it's been since the last time I blow dried my hair and yeah, so since I'm going to blow dry it, I'm going to go ahead and put this on there because it'll give me a little added moisture and protection for my hair. And so I'll come back when my hair is all blow dried. Okay, bye. Okay, so I blow dried my hair. And it came out pretty well. You can see... You can see where the texture is thicker in the middle. Didn't get as straight. But yeah. Overall, I did a pretty good job. So I'm going to go ahead and flat iron. I only flat iron on relaxer day. That's how I'm cutting down on my feet. So yeah. I'm done. Bye. <laughs>